former Republican South Dakota state Senate candidate has been convicted and sentenced to two counts of incest. Uh, now, Judge Margot Northrup of the Sixth Circuit had sentenced a the former Republican candidate Joel Koskin to 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine during a Tuesday sentencing hearing. Uh, so now the 44-year-old right-wing candidate has been accused of, again, sexual grooming behaviors of an adopted daughter uh, starting years ago uh, when she was 12. She is 20 now. George uh, Northrup noticed, uh, noted in the case that Koskin had begun grooming the child at a young age when she had been adopted into the family uh, and also said that he had, uh, in addition to porn, and installed cameras in her bedroom as well as her college dorm room and had tried to control her activities. So massive, massive amounts of control. Uh, and again, that tends to go along with groomer behavior. Uh, he would also instruct her to sit on his lap and kiss him from a young age. Eventually, again, as I mentioned, installing cameras and would regularly sexually assault her uh, and would even go on to rape her multiple times starting when she was 17. So with a lot of the cases of abuse, um, this girl had no idea that what she was being forced to do was was wrong until she went to a, a summer camp and, and found out that, of course, what was happening to her is absolutely heinous and, and wrong. Uh, and even then, of course, it took years and years before the victim was able to gather the courage to do uh, to go to the authorities, likely because he had very, very strict control over her and her life. Now, as I mentioned, uh, she was also, uh, again, adopted and is indigenous. So not a lot of reports are covering that fact as well. Uh, yes, that she was uh, indigenous uh, and that this man um, had actually been a big surprise deacon at the church. So multiple layers of abuse as well as uh, a little bit of racism in this entire case. Uh, and it's absolutely horrifying. So now when she, uh, when she was able to go and contact authorities, obviously she was discovered by Koskin uh, and he had text texted her uh, saying this, quote, you promised you'd never do this. I'm begging you, you don't want to do this. So that could be taken as both pleading and possibly even a threat. Now, the judge in the pre-sentence report noted that Koskin had represented a high risk of further inappropriate sexual activity if he had remained in house arrest. So wait a minute, why are we talking about house arrest? Well, it turns out that there was a previous plea agreement in the case that almost was adopted. Um, this is going to infuriate you um, because this prior plea agreement would have included no prison time for Koskin for, again, years and years of sexually abusing an indigenous girl that he had adopted into their home. No prison time at all. Now, a judge had rejected that plea agreement uh, and actually sentenced Koskin to the maximum in this case, again, 10 years in prison and a $20,000 fine. Uh, now, the original plea agreement would have required Koskin to pay the victim's college, therapy, and insurance through the age of 22, which, again, would be uh, just an additional two years, uh, and have no contact with the victim. Koskin, who ran for District uh, 26 State Senate seat, nearly won his race. He ended up losing by about four percentage points in November of 2022, just days after the charges were brought against him, he had previously run before in 2020 and 2018, losing both times, and thankfully he did not win, uh, but you still have people voting for him. Now, I'm going to be super, super charitable and say that, okay, look, um, since the charges were brought just a couple of days, you know, uh, before the actual race. Maybe maybe the people that voted for him 
were, you know, engaged in early voting. That does happen. So maybe I would like to think so, because I'd hate to think of people that actively voted for someone who is, you know, had at the time been uh, accused of such heinous grooming. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine Republicans voting for a alleged groomer, right? Right? But look, overall, I'm glad he's going to prison. I think the, you know, look, I think the sentence should be longer in this case to protect people uh, from him because he's an obvious, obvious predator. Um, but again, another right-wing groomer, literal groomer. Now, look, I, I looked at this photo, okay? Joel Koskin. Doesn't look like a drag queen to me. Doesn't look like anybody who's LGBTQIA+, right? It doesn't look like that. No, looks like a straight, white, cis male. Weird. I, shocking, right? I, I mean, I was told that all the, all, the, uh, all the pedophiles, all the groomers were actually uh, drag queens and, and, and men who put on a dress. Uh, or, you know, uh, it, it, people who are teachers, LGBTQIA plus people. I keep getting told by the right wing that those are the groomers. That those are the people that are harming the children. That are taking advantage of little girls. And are assaulting them. Raping them. But it turns out, of course, it's one of them. It's always one of them. Isn't it? Again, I mentioned... He was a church deacon at the Rosewood Valley Baptist Church. Now, I could not find any additional information on, you know, the stuff that was preached there. If it was a super conservative church or not, I would assume it is. Um, now, he was also a member, by the way, of the Cologne Consolidated School Board. So this person, this man put himself, this predator, sorry, put himself into positions where he would interact with children, deacon, school board person, you know, school board member, making decisions over children. And then, of course, to try to be a politician. Hmm. On the Republican side. And yet, while this is happening, what's Governor Christie Noem doing? What are the Republicans in this uh, in the state are? Uh, what are they doing? What are they doing to protect children? Nothing, nothing, because they're going after drag queens. It ain't the drag queens that are going after little girls. No, it's Republicans, church members. That's who's going after the little girls. That's who the groomers are. That's where they are. They're in your house, Republicans. They're in your party. And yeah, I know Republicans. Uh, uh, once again, they come out and say, oh, I can't believe that this would ever happen. Oh, what a terrible, terrible person. There was a, that, I just read you that plea agreement. You don't think that there was some pressure politically? Some, you know, uh, political considerations, whether or not this would hurt the Republican party and their war against so-called groomers, against LGBTQIA folks? I'm glad the judge rejected this um, and that this, that this predator, this sick individual is going away for at least 10 years, should be longer. But the judge gave the maximum that he was allowed to under law. So I don't blame him for that. Um, but I do blame Noam. I do blame the local Republican Party and the national Republican Party for consistently ignoring the fact that they are, whether they like it or not, but it's true, the party of groomers. Own it, Republicans. Either that or excise, and you probably should, no matter what, excise the groomers and the gross pedophiles from your party. And along, uh, along the way, Stop attacking 
trans people. Stop attacking trans children. Stop attacking drag queens. Stop attacking people for doing, for living their lives and doing nothing wrong. Go after the evil in your own house before you go after this imagined evil elsewhere.